Bobby DeBarge's battle with drug addiction was one of the most significant and heartbreaking aspects of his life. Born into a family already struggling with poverty and abuse, Bobby found solace in music. But he also found himself susceptible to the darker temptations that came with the lifestyle of a rising star. His addiction to heroin and cocaine began in the late 1970s, at the height of his success with the band Switch. Initially, his drug use was kept under wraps, but as his addiction grew, it began to impact both his personal and professional life. Bobby's addiction led to erratic behavior, missed performances, and strained relationships with his bandmates and family members. His voice, once hailed as one of the most beautiful in R&B, began to suffer as a result of his drug use. Despite attempts to quit, including stints in rehabilitation, Bobby's addiction persisted. It was a vicious cycle. His personal demons fueled his drug use, and the drug use exacerbated his mental health struggles. The consequences of his addiction were severe. In the mid-1980s, Bobby was arrested and convicted on drug trafficking charges, leading to a five-year prison sentence. His time in prison was a sobering experience, but even after his release, he struggled to stay clean. Sadly, Bobby's addiction ultimately contributed to his untimely death at the age of 39 from complications related to AIDS, a disease he contracted through drug use. His struggles with addiction remain a central and tragic part of his legacy, serving as a cautionary tale about the dangers of substance abuse, particularly within the pressures of the music industry. Bobby DeBarge's legal troubles were a direct consequence of his addiction, and they marked a significant turning point in his life and career. In 1985, Bobby was arrested for his involvement in a drug trafficking operation. The charges stemmed from his distribution of cocaine, a move that shocked many who knew him as a talented and sensitive artist. The legal proceedings were highly publicized, and Bobby's trial exposed the depths of his addiction. Despite his family's efforts to support him, including attempts to get him into rehabilitation programs, Bobby was ultimately convicted and sentenced to five years in prison. His imprisonment was a devastating blow not only to his career, but also to his personal life. The DeBarge family, already dealing with their own issues, faced intense scrutiny as one of their own became embroiled in such a scandal. During his time in prison, Bobby had the opportunity to reflect on his life choices. He expressed regret and a desire to change, but the damage had been done. His imprisonment effectively halted his career, and by the time he was released, the music industry had moved on. The stigma of his conviction followed him, making it difficult for him to regain his former success. The legal issues surrounding Bobby DeBarge highlight the destructive power of addiction and the harsh realities of the criminal justice system, especially for those in the public eye. The DeBarge family story is one of incredible musical talent marred by deep personal struggles, and Bobby's relationships with his siblings were often fraught with tension. Growing up in an abusive household, the DeBarge children were bound together by their shared experiences, but they were also divided by the traumas they endured. Bobby, as the eldest, often felt the weight of responsibility for his younger siblings, which sometimes led to conflict. As Bobby's career took off with Switch, the dynamics within the family began to shift. His success brought both pride and jealousy among his siblings, particularly as the younger DeBarges including El DeBarge, began to pursue their own musical careers. While there was mutual respect for each other's talents, there were also underlying issues of rivalry and resentment. Bobby's drug addiction only exacerbated these tensions. His erratic behavior and frequent absences from family gatherings created a rift between him and his siblings, many of whom were also grappling with their own issues, including substance abuse. The DeBarge family's turbulent relationships were further strained by Bobby's imprisonment. The stigma of his legal troubles cast a shadow over the entire family, and the media's portrayal of their struggles often exacerbated their internal conflicts. Despite these challenges, there was also a deep love and loyalty among the DeBarge siblings. They were united by their shared history and their love for music, 
even as they struggled to overcome the personal demons that threatened to tear them apart. Bobby's relationships with his family remain a complex and controversial aspect of his life, reflecting the challenges that many families face when dealing with addiction and trauma. Bobby's addiction, legal troubles, and eventual death significantly impacted the DeBarge family's public image. While their music continues to be celebrated, the DeBarges are also often associated with tragedy and scandal. The family's story is one of both incredible achievement and profound loss and Bobby's life is emblematic of that duality. The impact of Bobby's struggles on the family's legacy is a topic of much debate. Some argue that his personal issues overshadowed the family's musical accomplishments, while others believe that his story adds a layer of complexity and humanity to their legacy. Regardless, Bobby's life and career remain an integral part of the DeBarge family's history. Illustrating the fine line between genius and self-destruction that so often accompanies fame. Despite his incredible talent, Bobby DeBarge's solo career never fully realized its potential, a fact that has been a source of controversy and speculation among fans and critics alike. Bobby's voice was a thing of beauty, soaring, emotive, and uniquely his own. He was the driving force behind Switch's success and many believed that he had the potential to be a major solo star. However, Bobby's personal struggles, particularly his drug addiction, prevented him from fully capitalizing on his talents. While he did release a solo album, Asterisk It's Not Over Asterisk, in 1989, the project did not achieve the commercial success many had anticipated. The album, released shortly before his death, was a reflection of his inner turmoil, with deeply personal lyrics and a sound that was both haunting and beautiful. Unfortunately, it was largely overlooked by the public, partly due to Bobby's tarnished reputation and the changing landscape of the music industry. The unfulfilled potential of Bobby DeBarge's solo career is a poignant reminder of what could have been. Many believe that if Bobby had been able to overcome his addiction and fully focus on his music, he could have reached the same heights as his contemporaries. Instead, his solo career remains a what-if in the annals of R&B history, a tantalizing glimpse of a talent that was never fully realized. Bobby DeBarge's relationship with Latoya Jackson was a high-profile romance that captivated the media in the late 1970s and early 1980s. As members of two prominent musical families, their relationship was the subject of much speculation and gossip. Bobby and LaToya were reportedly very much in love, and their relationship was serious enough that marriage was considered. However, Bobby's struggles with addiction put a strain on the relationship. LaToya, who was reportedly supportive of Bobby, found it increasingly difficult to deal with the realities of his drug use. The pressures of their respective careers and the intense media scrutiny they faced only added to the tension. Ultimately, the relationship ended, reportedly because of Bobby's inability to overcome his addiction. The breakup was a source of controversy, particularly because of the public nature of their relationship and the cultural significance of the DeBarge and Jackson families. Fans and media alike speculated on the reasons for their split, with many blaming Bobby's drug use. The relationship between Bobby and LaToya remains a fascinating, if tragic, chapter in the history of two of the most famous musical families of the time. Bobby DeBarge's career, like that of many artists of his time, was marked by exploitation and the harsh realities of the music industry. Despite his immense talent, Bobby often found himself at the mercy of industry executives who were more interested in profit than in the well-being of their artists. The pressures of fame, combined with a lack of support and understanding for his personal struggles, contributed to Bobby's downward spiral. The exploitation Bobby faced is a reflection of broader issues within the music industry, where artists, particularly those from marginalized communities, were often taken advantage of. Contracts that favored record labels, grueling tour schedules, and the constant pressure to produce hits all took a toll on Bobby, as they did on many artists of his generation. These conditions exacerbated his existing issues and left him feeling isolated and overwhelmed. 
The controversy lies in the extent to which the industry failed to protect and support Bobby DeBarge. While he certainly made choices that contributed to his struggles, there is also a broader context of industry exploitation that played a role in his downfall. This topic continues to be relevant today as discussions about artists' rights, mental health, and industry practices remain at the forefront of conversations about the music business. Bobby DeBarge's childhood was marked by trauma that had a profound impact on his life. Raised in a household where abuse and neglect were commonplace, Bobby and his siblings were subjected to physical, emotional, and reportedly sexual abuse.